Let's talk about ear infections. Ear infections can be very common in certain breeds of dogs, in the Basset Hounds and the Cocker Spaniels, where they have long ears covering that, that ear hole. It makes it very difficult for air to, to get in and out of there, and moisture stays in. We usually see a, a yeast infection. A yeast infection smells like dirty socks. It smells like a, a, a locker room. Very sticky, black, tarry um, material inside those ears. We have a couple medications that will help clean the ear out and also to help enzymatically break down that material. A lot of that material is so far down the canal you cannot get it with a Q-tip and I do not recommend using a Q-tip. I would use an ear wash and cotton balls. Um, that's Yeast infection are going to be the most common things that we see in dogs. In cats, cats tend to get the ear mite infection. Ear mites look like grounds of coffee inside those ears, very dark crunchy. Um, we use a special topical medication for that to put in the ears. It kills the mites and then they don't come back. However, they can come back if your kitty goes outside, rubs his head against another kitty who has ear mites, they'll literally jump right across those ears and get infected again. So sometimes we can use products that are for flea control but will also have medications that will prevent ear mites as well. So we like to use a lot of combination medications that will prevent fleas, heartworm, and ear mites.